What's going on guys? Jacob Ober here coming to you with my reactions to Wisconsin versus Michigan State. Uh, another dominating win for the Badgers. 38-0 uh, to 0 the final score at Camp Randall. Um, and you know, a lot of people have mentioned, you know, the Badgers' strength of schedule thus far. They haven't really played a whole lot of great opponents. Uh, their shutouts have all come against teams that aren't too great. You know, South Florida, Central Michigan, Kent State. Michigan State is a legit Big Ten team. I mean, they might not be, you know, the best they've ever been or anything like that. They might not be, you know, a top 25 team, but they've got a legit defense, and I think they're legitimately a good team. Uh, they're certainly going to make the bowl, a bowl game this year. Uh, you know, I could see seven or eight wins or maybe even nine a possibility for Michigan State. You never know. But, um, I mean, the Badgers just completely, like, they made them look like they were nothing, like a high school team. I, and, you know, the best part about this is that the Badgers didn't even need, you know, Jonathan Taylor. He only ran for 80 yards in this game on 26 carries. That's a 3.1 average. With uh, He did have two touchdowns from the one-yard line. But, um, I mean, the Badgers won this game from – Amazing defense, uh, great field position. Jack Cohn playing a tremendous football game. Uh, he was 18 of 21 for uh, 180 yards and two touchdowns, or one touchdown, I should say. But, I mean, the guy was awesome. He was he was great. He did exactly what the Badgers needed uh, their quarterback to do, be efficient, not turn the ball over. And, you know, I think Jack Cohn has only had one, um, one uh, interception all season long. So, um, yeah. I mean, if you're still not convinced, I mean, it, it's, I'm, you know, there's definitely going to be some people out there who still say, they haven't beaten anybody good, you know, as if Michigan doesn't exist, that 35-14 win over them doesn't exist, or uh, the win, win today doesn't exist, you know, but um, all you can do is keep winning, and, you know, they've got Ohio State in a couple weeks. Before this game, I was kind of skeptical coming into that one, you know, I do think the Badgers... Uh, a, a, a little bit had been a product of their schedule, but this game really truly convinced me that the batters are for real. And, um, I mean, when you're winning games like this by that much, I mean, Ohio State only beat Michigan State by 24 last week, and you know that's not a knock on Ohio State or anything, but, I mean, Michigan State was in that game for a decent amount of time. They were never in this game against the batters. They were literally never in the game. From the start of the game to the finish, they were just completely outplayed by the Badgers. Their defense was phenomenal. Uh, you know, I think they had, what did they have, two or three interceptions? I don't remember. But, you know, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's just so cool. I mean, this is such a complete football team. They really have no weaknesses whatsoever. I mean, you can point to the quarterback, but, I mean, like I said, he's done exactly what the Badgers need him to do, be efficient. And um, we'll, we'll see if there is even a game this year where he needs to, you know, step up and be the big playmaker because – I anticipate at some point there will be a game like that, but so far he's done exactly what the batters need him to do, and uh, the only really area that he needs to improve him to prove himself in is you know big games where you know you might be tied or down and you need a huge drive or something. But the batters have never even been in that position; they've just blown the tires off of teams. So um, overall, great win, he, um, tremendous win. I think it's the batters' best win of the year and most convincing for sure. Um, even over the, honestly, even over the Michigan game, if I'm being honest. I mean, obviously we dominated Michigan and we played amazing in that game, but I don't know. Something about this game, it just, Michigan State's got a great defense, and, you know, they're a really, really good team, and, you know, coming into the game, I definitely expected the Badgers to win, but, you know, was, part of me was like, eh, maybe we could be on upset watch today, you never know. And they just came out and did exactly what they've done the last five weeks. They just completely dismantled them. Not even close from the start, and just nothing... There's just nothing. I mean, nothing that Michigan State could do. Offensively, defensively, nowhere where they could stop us. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I can't wait for two weeks from now, though. I cannot wait for Ohio State versus Wisconsin uh, in Columbus. And honestly, I think that's going to be a phenomenal game. I don't know if the Badgers are going to win or not. We'll see. But it's going to be a hell of a game, I'll tell you that. And, and it's probably going to be the primetime game on ABC. I would, it, it, it could legit be between two top five teams at that point. It could legit be between, like, a number three and number two Ohio State and number five Wisconsin. Like, that's how big of a game that game might be. And, you know, as I, I've, obviously I want to, you know, go in there and prove to the world the Badgers, you know, are amazing and they're, they can beat those uh, they can beat those teams and everything but uh, we don't necessarily need to win that game because I don't really see anybody else on the schedule beating us Iowa probably has the best chance but 
they're a team that's kind of similar to Michigan and uh, Michigan State, and the batters just eat those teams up, and it's going to be in Camp Randall. So, I mean, and at Nebraska, I mean, Nebraska sucks, but there's always something about playing uh, in Nebraska and Lincoln, um, especially in a night game, which I assume they'll give uh, that game as well. But, I mean, overall, you know, the batters could not have looked better today, and, I mean, like I said, can't wait for two weeks. So leave a like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Badger.